Sicilian Defense, Can, Modern Variation, 5, NF66.00D67.C4. Sudden a close game, a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. The dark squared bishop has a fresh opening created by e6, and the queen has a new diagonal created by e6. D4 offers to trade the more important central D4 pawn for the C5 pawn in exchange for more control of the center and quick development. Cx D4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. Nx D4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. A6 prepares for a B5 pawn push to gain space on the queen side and stops the white pieces from using the B5 square. Bd3 supports the e4 pawn, if the e4 pawn ever moves, the bishop on d3 will be attacking black's king side. The e4 pawn is attacked as the knight moves toward the center on move nf6. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. The d6 square governs the development of the light squared bishop and the e5 and c5 squares. When c4 moves into the center, it takes over control of the d5 square and gets ready to advance the knight behind the c-pawn. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is the final book action. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. Not the finest this. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to build a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is quite good. This misses a chance to use a pawn to attack the center. It is incorrect. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A pawn is therefore exposed to being captured. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to seize a helpless piece. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This causes material loss. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. This prevents an assault on a bishop who may have been taken prisoner. That's good. This moves the bishop to safety. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. White played the opening well, 
but black was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 